Hi there, welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. Uh, three quick stories about what Tony and I did wrong that maybe can help you. I can summarize the whole thing in this way. Don't assume that you're always right because, well, if you're anything like us, you're not. First story is a long time ago. We had a lot of beautiful vehicles that our cleaning uh, staff used. They, were, they really looked great and we insisted that everything be taken care of. We didn't want to see Taco Bell wrappers and pop cans and all over the place in french fries. We just didn't want that. We took care of this. Well, we talked to the staff really made a point of it and it looked terrible two nights in a row I brought in the gentleman that I assume took the, had done this and I said listen this is it I'm writing you up if this happens again you know you're out of here this is a corrective interview and he was kind of smiling smiling and I said listen Steve this isn't funny and he said I appreciate that Dan but I didn't work either of those two nights I wasn't scheduled that part of the week he was right I was wrong I was uh, talking to the wrong person I learned a lot there to what do they say? Measure twice and cut once. In HR, I have to learn to really watch the details. That was embarrassing. Second story. We used to put out a letter when, say, not a letter, but an email, when, say, a credit card is expired or we're having a problem charging a card. And then somebody once really said, listen, this is a very rude email. I don't like the way this is put. We said, oh, my goodness, no, it's just, it's just our standard email. No. We read it again. They were right. Uh, it, was sound, it did sound kind of rude. Why do I tell you that? We fixed that email. And the good news is the positive response that people had from that email from now on, from then on, really showed me that it was a problem. I'm glad that he pointed that out to us. Third story, software. In all the years, you know, it's so tempting as you get the program and you get to understand it so well and it's so simple and clear, you think of what's happening. So when someone mentions they're having a problem, it can be tempting to go, no, I think you're probably just confused. No, very often they're not confused at all. They have a very real problem and we're wrong. We just didn't know it. They're pointing out a glitch maybe we never knew about. So we really try now to really keep our minds open to look at what they're saying because it can be the source of so much troubleshooting that helps everybody. So the bottom line of the story is this. Uh, assuming is a big mistake, that we're right. Very often, we're not right. But it is in being open to that that we learn how to handle HR better, we learn how to help our communication better, and we learned how to help with software troubleshooting better. Uh, sometimes the best fixes come from the hardest criticisms that you have to be open to taking. Think about it. Till next time, remember, you can do this. You really can.